question 5a i've written it down here which is explaining about the differences between static and kinetic friction lah. okay so now let's look on to question b a three kilogram cube so we have a three kilogram cube placed on a rough plane rough plane the plane is then slowly tilted until the cube starts to move from rest this occurred when the angle of inclination inclination is 25 degree okay so this is 25 degree calculate the static frictional force between the cube and the frictional force okay so the information that we have is the mass 3 kilogram and then the initial velocity which is 0 meter per second and then we have theta equal to 25 degree and then what else so okay so that's basically it that's the information that we have so this one we have to draw the free body diagram so let's draw a dot dot and then we have weight what else we have the normal force normal force and then we have the frictional force okay so we have the frictional force and then what else i think that's yeah that's basically that this is the inclined plane and then this is the axis y axis okay and then this is 25 i am 25 degree this i uh sorry i keep forgetting 25 degree so this is a y axis this is x axis okay so this one is um g this is normal force this is the static friction force okay right now um before it starts moving it starts from rest so we will say the total force total force total net force at the x component lah. we are looking at the x components but we are looking for the static friction force okay so fx is equal to um, a equal to zero okay so this one is static okay it hasn't yet moved okay so m g sine 25 degree and then we would minus that with f s equal to zero okay so rearrange that we'll then get the static friction force mg sine 25 degree just substitute then you'd get the friction force to be equal to 12.44 newton